Hor 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 Freddy, what the heck are you doing? Oh, you know, just playing some, watching some Loki. You know, getting ready for Loki season two coming out soon. But B72 is now out. We gotta summarize it. I don't know. I feel tired. What? What the freak, Freddy? You're always the one first ready for this. How come now you're not? Dude, after the writer's strike. Everything that's been happening recently, I just feel done with everything. What are you talking about? The writer strike is over. What? It's over? Yeah, it's over. And you tell me this now? I thought you knew. No, no. I've been so hell bent on this. On this, I didn't even knew about that. But that makes no sense. Is the actor strike over? Well. I think it is. I mean, uh, we don't have any news, but I know they went to negotiations, so I'm pretty sure they're also over. Bonnie, get the book ready. We're gonna summarize one last time. Hello, everybody. I am Freddy Fazbear! No way, technically, no way. Hold on, let me do that again. Hello, everybody! I am Freddy Fredrickson Freakbear! It's been so long since I last said that. Wait, really? It's been that long? Yes, Freddy Fredrickson Freakbear. It was, it's Fazbear. Wait, Fazbear. Fredrickson Fazbear. With Bonnie, Bonnie Sin the Bunny. But my middle name ain't Bonnie Sin. Well, what else is there? What, what else can we possibly say instead, instead of... Um, um, I don't know. What's the full name for Bonnie? I don't know. So, so far we're going with Bonnie Sin. Yeah! Wait, what the frick are you? My am Balloon Foxy. I'm just gonna call you Fixie. What? Oh, damn, I actually spit on the frickin'. Hold up a second. There. Oh, sorry for that. Something got. Something I actually gotta spit on the phone. Anyways, we're here because we're here. What is hopefully the last Tales from the Pizza Plex book, B7 to Oldie. What the frick? Um, what the frick? Can we just talk about what this thing even is? Well, we know what it is now, but um, gee, oh my, I can't, I can't help but just notice how disturbing this thing is. I mean, uh, yeah, I gotta agree, this is pretty disturbing. What the heck? Anyways, we're here summarizing the first story of this book, which is called B72. And um, should we talk about the second story? No, 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 we'll do that after, like the old ways. Even though we now we accidentally know what all the stories are because of leaks, sadly. Yes, yeah, Sally, this book got leaked. In fact, wait, what the hell? All the books got leaked. All of them got leaked, which is kind of upsetting that they all got freaking leaked. I mean, how did they even all got leaked? Y'all, like, I honestly don't know. Wait, was Tiger Rod leaked? Yeah, that got leaked as well. They all got leaked. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Very sad that they all got leaked. Which stinks! I swear, if they do a third series about on something like this, they have to make sure none of the stories get leaked. Absolutely agree. Anyways, we also got two more books when our, on our trip to BAM. Um, we'll do the same ones for last because it's very poor, but we got this graphic novel. You might have seen this. Very simple. Let's just skim through it, actually. Oh. Oh. Uh, what story is this? Is this Step Closer? Oh, no, no, it's hide and seek. Wait, who the heck, what story is this? Oh, this is the ending for... Oh, where's Ralph? What does he look like? Holy crap, that is terrifying. What the heck? Ho holy, oh, that is, that, that's disturbing. That, that's very disturbing. What the frick? Uh, what does Shadow Buns look like? I need to know. Oh my kid, this isn't even about the graphic novel. What are we doing? Well, let's talk about this one here. Aha! So, this is a book called Sirens, and is made by Brandon Coffin, which you would know is Scott Coffin's son. Yes, the same one who has test all the FNAF games. And he has created this book called Sirens, that we decided... We, wait, is it called Sirens? When we were going to search for it, the book was called Sirens End of the World. I mean, you can call it whatever you want. Oh, 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 I don't know what we're gonna call it science, but we're definitely gonna do a summary of this. Well, not fully. We're not gonna read through the whole thing this summer. But we're gonna do a chapter by chapter because uh, if we look uh, right 
here. Um, what the heck? Ah, there it is. There it is. It has multiple chapters. Not sure how much, though. What even is the size of this? Let's compare it to the the B72. Uh, they seem to be the same height. Actually, actually, how many pages is this? Uh, uh, 208. If the thing could focus. Hello, you gotta focus on the 208? No? It's, it's not. Um, but that says 200. Oh, now, oh, now it focuses. But yeah, that's the 208. What's this one says? Uh, without getting support, how many pages does this? Uh, uh, hello? So, like, up to 300 pages. Okay, 300 pages. So, okay, so it's a lot shorter than any of the... Actually, I think it might be the same length as one of the books. I'm not sure. But yeah, that one's like 200, 300 pages. So, probably like 10 to 12 chapters that we're going to have to make videos of. But yeah, that's just about all the upcoming con... Oh, speaking of... I'm not totally sure if we're going to summarize the next story tomorrow. I think I want to do a Let's Play video tomorrow because uh, it's gone tiring. So, we're probably going to do it the way Darko did it, where each week... It's gonna be a new summary. So, um, don't expect the next summary tomorrow. Or Friday. It's probably gonna be sometime later in next week. But right now, let's actually finally summarize B72 after that long intro. So, I just we're, we're gonna have to recap everyone of the first B7 story because this is indeed a sequel to the first B7 story. So, in the last story, um, Bonnie, can you give us the summary? All right. Story number six, B7, was about a kid named Billy who had some trauma and event to lead to where when he watched a commercial about Freddy and friends, he wanted to be like them. And he went specifically too far, very far, to the point of where he um didn't do school anymore and went to the library. He only ate food that were only white. He drank oil. He, um, he was soulless. And he gave himself prosthetic legs. He chopped his tongue and ears off and it let, got so bad that he went to a um freaking grinder type thing i'm not even sure what it was but he went to a grinder thing and he just got destroyed basically that was base. well that's what we thought as we see in the description of this one um uh where billy wakes up in a hospital to a entirely new reality let's start with this so uh fix it you go yeah okay so so what start, What happens at the start is that Billy wakes up, like he said, and of course is in a new reality, where he meets up with a new, with a couple of doctors. Um, first one was Doctor Doctor Gloria. Or, yeah, Gloria. Well, I don't think her last name was Gloria, but her name was Gloria. And then um, we got the main doctor, Doctor. I couldn't pronounce. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh. Hold on, where is it? Hold on, where is it? Where's the, where's the... Oh crap, this is gonna take a while. Okay, we did not plan this drill at all. I mean, we never planned this drill. We never planned these drill, usually winged. So I feel like we should change that soon. Especially when the channel's grown, we definitely should change it. Dr. Hera... Uh, something like that, I, I don't know. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. But Dr. Hera basically talks about how... Billy was found by the police after his um after he got crushed by the grinder and he's been there for I'm not sure how long I think it was I don't know a few months where they basically out of months or weeks where he basically they were basically trying to slowly get him back to what he was not fully some things were permanent I think he still has a prosthetic leg I, he doesn't he still doesn't have the tongue he still doesn't have the ears I think he got one of his arms back, maybe one of his legs back, but they've been trying to slowly piece him back together. And that's what the beginning story is about. It's about, um, two, I think specifically three, dark, well, four of them. Well, you barely see the fourth one, but mainly three of them. Um, Gloria, Hera, and, and Augie, I think. I, I think it was Angie. Yeah, Angie. That was how it's pronounced. Angie, Angie, right? Uh, was it Angie? Yeah, Angie. Basically, that was them, um, basically trying to piece them back together with physical therapy and, I think, 
treatment and you know basically just trying to turn, get him back to normal before he gets out of the hospital and um at some point i think two of them talk about getting prosthetics and because of how horrified he was last time he says no to those and basically that's what the rest of it so far um i think we see him in during his three days and the third day he meets up with um some familiar people um i forgot their names Okay, yeah, we did not plan this drill. We didn't even wrote a um a thing for memory thing because we just tried uh, because um we actually yeah we can remember this yeah uh, I forgot the names dang it but basically uh, there were the dude oh Ned and Clark you may you may not remember them because it was. It was literally like last year, actually. Yeah, last year. But basically, there was, those were the friends of um, um, Billy during, I think his, I think his first grade year. And basically, they talk about how they felt so. Well, they they're just glad that he's back to normal, basically. Um, I think also with uh, two other people, Fran and and. Okay, the other guy's name is Ned. So Ned and Fran, who, who are, I think were in the last book. I think they were like the helpers of him during his like adult age, um, robot adult age or something like that. But basically, they went in to visit him. Um, also, uh, Billy's um, Billy's um, psychologist doctor during his childhood. Um, um, Alice, as she's called in this book forgot her last name but basically she also comes here to visit and she basically talks about how she has to now f he has to now figure this out on his own with the I think the last bit being his um grandmother Billy's grandmother which I'm not sure if he actually she actually appeared in the book but she is basically here with basically where Billy's gonna eventually move into grab her, her basically move into her house eventually in the book so that's where that's gonna happen but before that in the third day when he's about to sleep he i think he dreams i'm not sure if he exactly dreams but basically he hears something calling out his name so he goes to it he also counts with some guards but mainly he sees some weird thing that approaches him and it's basically um i, I think it, it's this this thing which i'm we're just gonna call b72 because um well, it says it there, so might as well say it here. So yeah, B72 is the thing. And it basically wants him to turn back into a robot. Basically, that's how it is. And of course he refuses. And I think then he passes out. Um, no, wait, the guard comes in and then takes him back to where he um was. Because he, I think he, someone learned how to walk during his, but not fully. Then after that, I think he now moves in with his grandmother. Where basically here's the important thing. Um, gra his his grandma does not have any technology at all. No TV, no no computer, no cell phone. So it kind of makes it. And he starts thinking that, but he realized that it's probably a good thing because that's what caused him to um, turn into a robot. So that's where that story goes in. So it basically just goes into him and his day basis. Him going to church every Sunday. Him experiencing new foods. Frank, he go, he meets Frank, who I think event uh, shows him fishing, and Billy talks about how he wants to be a writer. Basically, simple stuff. Yeah, there's really not that much to summarize because it's pretty simple. It's basically Billy, literally all about Billy just going back to his life. And during like the end sequence, it gets actually really crazy. I'm gonna skip right into because it just. So basically, during his final days, he hears. His grandmother talking to someone. He couldn't tech exactly tell what it was, but it um it made Billy f feel suspicious. And Billy actually said he was gonna um, eventually. He was during I think one morning he was gonna tell his grandmother that he's gonna leave. And he actually said that because he felt like his grandmother was getting tired of him for some reason. And when this happens, I'm not I I couldn't believe it, but basically. Um, <laughs> the B72 thing returns and um destroys his 
basically he just he he kills the gra he kills the he kills his grandmother violently, but yet sh the grandma is like, I want this for some reason. I I, I couldn't even I, I don't know why, but that's basically how it is. She um yeah, and then she slowly gets killed and killed by the B7 thing, which also which um also slowly dies, and and yeah, that's. Yeah, nothing bad happens to Billy actually. So he calls to Frank. They bury the grandmother and the B72, and he just moves on, continues. And yeah, that's how it ends. So yeah, it, it actually ends on a good ending for once. <laughs> We're not really because his grandma just got killed by the B7 thing. And now Billy's on his own doing something, but he's back. Hey, it's a good ending. But yeah, um, I don't know what else to really theorize about. Yeah, there really is nothing that much. But hey, it's the first step to this last book. I'm hoping this is the last book. I'm pretty sure it is the last book. Because first of all, in the Mimic epilogues, Lucia is the only person left. And... And also... We have gotten no news about this ninth book. There is a knife book, but we have not gotten any title review or cover of this knife book. So we don't even know what this thing is. I'm going to assume it's just probably a collection guide and not something important because there's no way this thing's going to end on a cliffhanger. It's just no way. This has to be it. I'm hoping it's it. I'm really hoping. But anyways, that is, um, is that it the video? I mean, there could be some other things. Let's actually talk about... What else do we talk about in this book? Mm, let me think. Let me think. Hmm. 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 I, um... I don't got that much, honestly. Uh... Uh... I mean, we could discuss where this thing even come from. I mean, what is this thing? Where did it come from? If Billy's here, what is this? Maybe it's... It can't be... Maybe it, it can't be his hallucination because it killed his grandmother. Um, then what could it be? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, I think it's... Maybe it was something made by... Um, Eleanor? I don't know if it was something made by her. Maybe it was made by Glitchtrap. No, nah, Glitchtrap did not exist back then. I'm not. I'm pretty sure this takes place in like the 2010s or something. I'm not sure because they do talk about cell phones. Um, the it, I I guess the yeah. I, I'm just gonna say it's something made by Eleanor because that's the only reasonable thing that there is. There's no other reasonable, unless it's the. No, yeah, that makes sense. Eleanor came in, grabbed some of the pieces of B7. And turn them into this to haunt um Billy. That's what it is. I that's what I think it is at least. Well, we think it is. That, that that's just all oh, that makes sense. So yeah, um, let's just show you the next summary. Even though you're probably not gonna see this next summary for in, for like a week. So the next story is. What page is this? Oh God. Uh. Oh we. S oh no no no. Oh no no no. Oh here we go. There we go. Alone together. Let's just read the description for this book. Uh, Travis. Oh, Travis. Travis. Like, Travis Plus Productions can't shake the feeling that something eerie is fami eerie familiar is haunting him. Familiar? Okay. That's, should we talk about the third book story? Well, the third story apparently is going to reveal what FNAF 4 is. At least that's what we were told. So that's it. Yeah, that's it. The video. Um, nothing that much to talk about. Even though this is actually gonna be kind of a long video. I thought this video was pretty short, but no. Um, yeah. So we'll see you all next time. Actually, I'm not sure what we're gonna be playing tomorrow. I was think about playing the Finance of Sonic's for Halloween edition. Yeah, that would be fun. Though it has been a no, 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 no. We'll save the insane series for Sunday, or 
Saturday. No, Sunday, definitely. But anyways, that is it the video. Hope you all enjoy. Uh, please like, subscribe. And we'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.